WKSU, the public radio station licensed to Kent State University, signed on the air in October 1950. At that time, the signal was just 10 watts, and few imagined what the future would hold for the fledgling operation. For the first few decades, WKSU was a student-operated station, but with the creation of the Corporation for Public Broadcasting in 1967, and the founding of National Public Radio, or NPR, in 1970, WKSU began to grow into the professional service it is today. The WKSU Broadcast Center, dedicated in December of 1992, is on the southeast corner of the Kent campus, and the station is now part of Kent State's University Relations and Development Division. Kent State University students work at the station in news, administration, programming, public relations, web design, and information technology. WKSU benefits from the youthful energy of the next generation, while students gain valuable real-world experience. The WKSU stations reach all or part of 22 counties in Ohio, as well as parts of western Pennsylvania. Our main transmitter, broadcasting at 89.7 FM, is located in Copley. Repeater stations in Worcester, Dover, New Philadelphia, Thompson, and Norwalk serve the region at other frequencies, and two translator stations, low power repeater stations, serve the Boardman and Ashland communities. Taken together, it represents the largest FM signal of any radio station in the state, public or commercial. WKSU is funded through a variety of sources. Approximately 12% comes from Kent State University, and roughly 11% is provided by the federal government. But the lion's share of the station's support comes from the community. This sector, made up of individual contributions and corporate support, represents nearly 75% of WKSU's budget. WKSU serves the region with NPR News, coverage from our award-winning news team, classical music, folk music, and exclusive public radio entertainment programs. We identify this unique mix with the slogan, NPR, classical, other smart stuff. Our music philosophy is to be the critical link between the public, artists, and arts organizations strengthening our audience's knowledge of and participation in the arts, and ultimately creating a more vibrant culture for the community. WKSU classical music announcers are experienced professionals who are acknowledged as some of the best in the business. They present classical music in a manner that is engaging and accessible. Folk music has been an important part of WKSU's weekend programming for decades. Our unique mix features the best of the past, as well as artists of today. WKSU's drive time schedule is anchored by the NPR News Magazine's Morning Edition and All Things Considered, the two most listened to shows in public radio. Our afternoon news block also includes Fresh Air with Terry Gross, Marketplace, and Your Way Home. Your Way Home is WKSU's daily 30-minute news magazine heard at 6 p.m., immediately following All Things Considered. This show, launched in January 2006, provides a wrap-up of the day's news from a Northeast Ohio perspective. The WKSU news team presents news reports that illuminate and enrich life in Northeast Ohio. Our newsroom, which includes news bureaus in Cleveland and in Canton, cover stories of regional interest, focusing on areas such as economic development, the environment, politics, and healthcare. The WKSU news team has been honored with some of the top prizes in broadcast journalism, including the prestigious Edward R. Murrow Award. The Society of Professional Journalists has honored WKSU as the best news operation in the state three times in the last six years. WKSU's schedule also includes public radio favorites, such as Car Talk with Click and Clack, Garrison Keeler's A Prairie Home Companion, Michael Feldman's What Do You Know, This American Life with Ira Glass, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, and more. But 
WKSU is more than a radio station. In today's new media landscape, it is important to be able to reach audiences through a variety of platforms. WKSU was one of the very first stations in the country to offer live online streaming. Now WKSU offers four distinct online audio services, WKSU Live, WKSU 2, an all news channel, WKSU 3, an all classical music channel, and the Folk Channel, Folk Alley. Folkalley.com, WKSU's folk music website, was launched in 2003, bringing global excitement and attention to an underappreciated musical genre. The site features the best in singer-songwriter, Americana, Celtic, bluegrass, acoustic instrumental, world and traditional folk music styles over the internet 24 hours a day. Thousands of Folk Alley listeners tune into the online music stream each day from across North America and from more than 130 countries around the world. Folk Alley is also an online folk community that offers playlists, folk music news, artist interviews to listen to, and live from Folk Alley, exclusive concerts featuring the best of today's folk musicians. And recently, Folk Alley created Open Mic, an online coffee house where emerging artists can post their songs for consideration by the Folk Alley community. Through terrestrial broadcasts and web services, WKSU reaches nearly 200,000 people each week. To put that in perspective, that number of people would fill Quicken Loans Arena, Cleveland Brown Stadium, Jacobs Field, all of the Playhouse Square Theaters, Blossom Music Center, the Akron Civic Theater, E.J. Thomas Hall, and the Canton Palace Theater. WKSU reaches that number of people in one week. The political spectrum is also well represented in the WKSU audience as roughly one third of our listeners identify themselves as conservative, one third as liberal, and about one fourth as in the center. Areas where listenership to WKSU is the strongest include Akron and West Akron, Cleveland Heights and University Heights, and outside of Cleveland in Worcester, Kent, Hudson, North Canton, Chagrin Falls, Medina, and Cuyahoga Falls. WKSU has strong partnerships with Northeast Ohio's arts community, area businesses, and civic organizations. The station partners with dozens of arts organizations in Northeast Ohio, including the Cleveland Orchestra, E.J. Thomas Hall, the Canton Symphony, Apollo's Fire, the Cleveland Museum of Art, and Stan Hewitt Hall and Gardens. The monthly civic forums presented by the Akron Press Club and the Akron Roundtable are available and archived on the WKSU website. WKSU is active in the community at events such as University Circle's Parade the Circle, Cleveland's Earth Fest, Akron's Downtown at Dusk, and at events the station itself presents, such as Garrison Keeler at Blossom Music Center. Each November, the station presents the Kent State Folk Festival, one of the nation's longest-running music festivals. We've come a long way since 10 watts in 1950, and we're still growing, innovating, and serving Northeast Ohio. We are 89.7 WKSU. NPR. Classical. Other smart stuff.